Hi guys, this is Dan for EveCopilot.net and I'm here today for a short tutorial on the skill queue and basically what it's used for. Now, the skill queue was only introduced into Eve about a year or so ago and you can get to it by clicking on your character sheet on the top there. Now if you want to get this menu, see my menu is quite short there, this little arrow at the top will move that menu in and out and then you've basically got your character sheet menu there now from there, additionally you can expand and collapse this menu at the top as well if you want to. That saves a bit of space there. So, once you get into your character sheet, you want to go to your skills, and then you want to click this open training queue button that's there. Now once you do that, this is going to open up your training queue. And as you can see at the moment, my training queue is empty, and that's never a good thing. Now, what you have here is skills that fit within my queue's time frame. Now if you check that, that's only going to show you skills that will fit inside your 24-hour train. Now, the most important thing is basically to always have a skill training. Now, basically what you want to do is when you're quite new to the game, a lot of your skills are going to be like this. They're going to be very quick, a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there. To, to train a skill in. So what you can do is you can queue these up. So say I suddenly decide that I want to get into mining. Okay, So I want to train ice harvesting, I want to train mass production, I want to train yeah, production efficiency there. And all these queues here as I'm adding them in they're coming into the queue. And what that means is that these are going to train one after the other. Okay, Now add a second one in. Now a nice tip is for when you start to start to get towards the end of the queue here okay so you see now the queue is pretty much almost full is to then uncheck skills that fit within my queue's time frame and throw on a longer skill so you see here I have mining five that I need to train which is three days so if I add that onto the end here it means that if for whatever reason I don't get back to my PC for the next three days I'm still gonna have something training now let's say that 24 hours passes now these skills here are all going to be trained now they're going to be completed and learned and that's what you're going to be left with when you come back if you have other skills that you'd rather be training what you can do is temporarily remove that you can then add in your next set of skills that you want to train like so and then once you've done that you can then put your long skill on the end. Now, tra you, you don't always have to have, as you start to get your skills leveled up, you're going to get to the point where you don't really have any short skills left that you want to train. And that's absolutely fine. If it's, if it's just a long skill that you want to be training, then you can go ahead and, and just add that straight on. And what you want to look for is when you've got less than 24 hours left on that skill, at which point you can then just queue another one up. Now the important thing to remember is that once you're done making changes to this queue, you then need to apply it. Until you apply it, it's not actually going to make any changes. So for the meantime, I'm just going to put the skill back that I was training before. Uh, if I can remember what that was, where are we? There you go. Jump fuel conservation, that's what I was training. So I'm going to add that in there and just apply that for now. Now, if you're really stuck on what to train, um, what skills to train and what order to train them in is, is such a big question because it depends on the race you are, what skills you've already got, what you're looking to fly, how impatient you are is a big thing, um, you know, sort of the area you're looking to get into, what roles you're going to be playing. There's, there's 30 different questions, you know, 40 maybe, that, that you're going to need to answer in order to know exactly what you want to train. But there are a few basic skills that are going to help anyone. Okay, so first of all, spaceship command. Every race, every every aspect involves flying a ship. All you do in Eve is fly ships. So you'll start off with your race's frigate, and you'll also start off with spaceship command. Now, training those two up is, is never going to be a bad idea. So if you're really stuck for something to train, train up some of your relevant um, spaceship skills and train up spaceship command then if you're going into sort of PvP, um, you're going to want to train skills that are relevant to your race. So if you're a Mar, Mimitar, or Galanti, have a look under the gunnery 
tab train gunnery up train up the the skills that you already have there if you're Kaldari you want to look under missile launcher operation because Kaldari fire missiles if for example you're looking at getting into the mining side of things the industry tab industry is all your mining train mining up train refining up these are skills that are going to be needed for all industry characters if you're doing the mining side of things anyway um, the other side of it is again Amar and Galanti they're both armor tanks so that's going to come. Oh, sorry, engineering's. Uh, that's going to come under mechanic. So you can see here. Try to try not to get too confused by all these skills, but you get kinetic armor compensations, um, repair systems. These are going to help you with. You, you're going to need these skills. It's it's basically working on the defense and the offense of the ships that you want to fly from, from a combat side of things. Now we will put up um, some basic fittings and some basic skill trains on our forums over at evecopilot.net and that's going to give you some good starting skills and some good starting fits. So we're looking to get them up within the next 24 hours and we're hoping to get a couple of frigates and a couple of cruisers for each race as well as the skill trees that you want to be training in order to use them. So that's just a basic rundown of the training queue and what it does. And again, if you want more information on sort of the industry training and some of the basic PvP ships and the skills you're going to need, if you stop by the forums, you'll, you'll see a fitting and a skill tree uh, subsection of the forums, and you'll be able to get some more information from there. So don't forget to check out the forums, and I'll speak to you again soon.